Number nine, predict and test the behavior of alpha particles fired at a Rutherford atom model. Okay, so in number eight, we did Thompson's plug pudding model. Number nine is all about Rutherford's at a to- um, atom model. All right, so here we go. I'm just going to write down here. This is Rutherford's. Okay, so this was Rutherford's experiment. Okay, so basically, just a rundown on Rutherford's atom model was basically that he, you know, shot beams of alpha particles into a thin gold foil. So this is basically the gold experiment, gold foil experiment. Okay. So also, we just have to know that alpha particles are basically the essentially helium. They will have two protons and two neutrons. So if you have two protons, which we know are positive, and two neutrons, which are neutral, which have no charge, overall, these um, alpha particles are going to be positive, right? Overall. Okay. So you have overall positive particles being shot at a thin piece of gold foil. Now, in Rutherford's experiment, he noticed that majority of them pass straight through the particles. Most alpha particles pass straight through. But, however, some of them get deflected, right? A few few particles, alpha particles, are slightly deflected here. They bounce back. So it, it just depends. But majority of them go straight through. So these alpha particles that are being hit at this gold foil, majority of them go straight through, but some of them are being deflected. Okay. So now it says for letter A, so there's A, B, C, and D. So for A, it says predict the paths taken by alpha particles that are fired at atoms with the Rutherford atom model structure. Explain why you expect the alpha particles to take these paths. So, majority of alpha particles in the Rutherford experiment will basically pass straight through. STR. Pass straight through. And they say, explain why you expect the alpha particles to take these paths. Well, this is now just your own explanation. So, whether you think that Um, maybe majority of an atom is filled with electrons or maybe no space at all. Either one is acceptable because it's just explain why you expect. So you don't have to be right here. So I'm just going to say because um, most of atom is empty space. empty space. So it would make sense that the alpha particles just, you know, blast right through. They're not deflected because nothing is interacting with it. No positives, no negatives. So you could say, you know, most of it's empty space or electrons because electrons will also, you would expect to, you know, alpha particles would go straight through because positives attract negatives. B Now here they say, if alpha particles of higher energy than those of A are fired at Rutherford atoms, predict how their paths will differ from the lower energy alpha particle paths. So we're just going to say here that these were classified as lower energy. And now we're going to do higher energy. So with higher energy, things basically happen faster, right? So, in this case, the alpha particles would just basically, alpha particles, would pass through more quickly. Higher the energy, the faster the reaction should happen, or the faster something goes. And we've definitely seen that in the plum pudding model in number eight. If you didn't do the plum pudding model, check that out. Um... Okay, and it just says explain your reasoning because generally higher energy atoms will react faster than lower energy alpha particle uh, movement, we'll say. 
Okay, now C. It says predict how the paths taken by alpha particles will differ or differ if they are fired at Rutherford atoms of elements other than gold. What factor do you expect to cause this difference in paths and why? So here you can just predict anything, right? You can either say that maybe it wouldn't matter, right? Or maybe there would be more deflection depending on um, different elements. So maybe you'll say, um, I don't know, this, this answer could be, any, any answer could be correct here. I'm just going to say, I'm just going to predict. I'm going to say um, maybe depending on atomic number, maybe uh, the alpha particles will deflect more. So if there's more protons, right, maybe the deflection would be more, right? So as you go higher and higher in atomic number, maybe the particles will be deflecting more. I don't know. It's just a prediction. So you guys can predict anything that you want. But now we have to predict. Now we have to test these predictions, right, for A, B, and C. So in here, I'm just going to say, depending on atomic number, alpha particles would deflect more on element. Um, so we'll say the increase higher atomic number, the higher the deflection. We'll just, that's a prediction, right? That's a hypothesis. All right, but now we're going to test these out. So D. So now when you click this link, it says open the Rutherford scattering simulation. So that's this link right here. And the link is down below in the description if you want to follow along with me. And it brings you to the screen on the right-hand side. So all you got to do is just press this um, button right here. And it says select the Rutherford atom tab. So last time we did the plum pudding. Now we got to do the Rutherford. So I'm just going to hit that one, the one on the left. And it brings me to this. All right, so now they say, due to the scale of the simulation, it's best to start with the small nucleus. So select 20 for both protons and neutrons. So let's see. For, for protons, I'm going to bring this number all the way down to 20. And for neutrons, I'm going to bring this number all the way down to 20. And then we want min energy. So bring that all the way down. And we want to say show traces. So I'm just going to click that show traces over here and then start firing alpha particles. Firing alpha particles. OK, so here we go. Here they go. Those are my alpha particles. And what's happening? Does it match your prediction from A? Well, let's see. Majority of them are going straight through. But it looks like if you hit a nucleus, right, if you hit that yellow dot or even go close to it, you will deflect. So this one, technically, yes, this answered true. So in this case, A was correct for us. Now, if you were wrong, that's OK. You just have to know what is right. And the the um, Rutherford experiment is correct. So here. Um, does it match your prediction? Yes, it does for A, right? And it says, if not, explain why the actual path would be that shown in the simulation. So it is correct because it's mostly filled with, um, you know, blank space. Right? There's literally nothing here. If you see here, I only see three nuclei, right? Three yellow dots. So most of it is just black space, right? So that's why for A. Now, for B, it says pause or reset, set energy to max. So I'm going to pause here, set the energy to max, and then I'm going to fire again. And here we go. Did it go? Here it goes. Oh, yeah. So from the plum pudding, if we did number eight, we know that higher energy is just going to happen faster. So we were actually correct on this one because it basically would be the same answer as what happened in the plum pudding. So for B, we were correct as well. 
So check off B, right? And it said, did it match your prediction for B? Yes, it did. And it says, if not, explain the effect of increased energy on the actual path. All it is is just increased energy is just faster. All right, guys? So that's all that's happening. The alpha particles are going at a much faster rate. Okay. Now it says pause or reset and select 40 for both protons and neutrons. Okay, so I'm gonna press pause here. I'm gonna bring this number up to 40, 40 protons, 40 neutrons. And min for energy, show traces, okay? And fire away, does this match your prediction for C? So what we're doing is we're basically changing the identity of the element. And that's what we said here, depending on the atomic number, the particles will deflect more, right? Increasing atomic number, increase the deflection. So we increased it from 20 to 40. So let's see. Fire away. Hey. Oh, we got to press play. <laughs> okay, now we're going to fire away. Hmm. Let's see. Does it matter? Whoa. This is kind of getting a little crazy, right? So does this match the prediction? I would say yeah. I would say more, more, um, more deflecting, right? So technically, yeah, we did get C right on the nose, right? So it says, repeat this with large number of protons. What generalizations can you make regarding the types of atoms effect on the path of alpha particles? Be clear and specific. So it looks like, I'm going to put it up here, the, whoa, the increase in atomic number, right, the increase in number of protons, which are positive, what's going to happen to the deflections? Let's jack this all the way up. So let's stop this. Let's bring this up to, I don't know, 70? Let's see this go crazy. So let's say 70, right? Okay. And let's press play. And let's do this. Still basically the same thing, right? Can we even make this maybe even higher? Let's see what the highest is. Wow. If we keep this on pause, look, look at all this, right? This is a lot of deflection now. They're going all over the place. I would think so, as, as opposed to, let's go all the way down to 20. Yeah, I would say, I would say more deflection, right? It looks more sporadic, right? If we jack this up over here. Oh yeah, definitely, right? So we can say higher the atomic number, the increased number of protons, and then we get the increased number of deflections. And I guess that's what they mean by be clear and specific. So what generalizations can you make regarding the type of atom and effect on the path of alpha particles? Higher the atomic number, more deflections for alpha particles. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Hope this one helped out. You guys should know in depth the difference between Rutherford atom model structure and the plum pudding by Thompson, all right? So definitely know those for certain. One is incorrect, the plum pudding, and the other one is correct, the Rutherford model, all right? So thanks for tuning in, guys. If you gave, if, if you thought this helped, please give us a like, this video a like, and let us know in the comments. All right, we love to hear from you guys. I'll see you guys all in number 10. Bye-bye.